Hi, uh, this is Robert Bolaños. I'm uh, a little bit under the weather, but uh, I did get my MIGSIG MD05004. It's a four channel oscilloscope. It has bandwidth of 500 megahertz with uh, 3.3 giga samples per second. It just came in and I'm fairly impressed the the build quality feels very solid this thing has some weight to it so i mean, if you you push the buttons and everything seems very solid the knobs have little indentations very solid so i have no complaints over that uh the size is fairly big so for People that have uh, old eyes like mine, uh, you're definitely going to be able to see the waveforms uh, on this oscilloscope. So it looks, I'm impressed so far from what I've seen. And, uh, and uh, I want to share my, uh, my thoughts on it. So right here on the bottom, might not be able to see it. Is the on and off, and that's turning on. Okay, so. It's a tablet scope, or at least Mexic is known for their tablet scopes. Uh, they're a little bit smaller than this and handheld. And they, from what I can see on the internet, they seem to have uh, pretty good uh, uh, reviews. People have uh, pretty good thoughts on them. So here, when you turn it on, you have the four. Uh, yellow, blue, red, and green, and you can time you can change the time base through here. Oh, okay. So there's a little feature you can use the mouse and see right here it's locked, meaning that if you when you see that it means you can't change anything. So right click. Okay, so now I can, that is very smooth, very smooth, yes, so the screen control is very, very good, I like that very much. Uh, here is your horizontal, so you can change the time, so that's 200 nanoseconds, or you can make a, uh, change that accordingly likewise if you press this let's say the blue you can make this 10 milli 20 50 100 and so forth so you can scroll that like I said you can move that fairly well now, I'm going to go ahead. I have a, a little flyback converter connected. So I'm going to turn that on. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the blue off. And you double click, double click, double click, and I can move this down, and I believe this is the trigger point. So the trigger point seems to be green. I believe the trigger or level. So now it's 
yellow is the trigger so I can move the trigger up and there you have it okay so I'm gonna hit go ahead <clears throat> excuse me you can make this by doing that okay move this and you can change the time you can either use the knob for those who prefer knobs or you can do that here that looks pretty good you can move this with your the knob here or you can use your mouse up and down you can do the scroll on your mouse changes that so forth so this is really really impressive at least for me uh, since this is the first time I have a touch screen there may be other that I'm not aware of, I'm sure that have a very natural feel or ease uh, cursors you have the cursors here you can move it like here shows the Delta okay there's a Delta of 94 4 you can also put horizontal you can use the mouse or you can bring that over pretty good so this is a delta of uh, 10.6 microseconds frequency of 93.6 kilohertz so that's that's pretty neat so to turn it off you just click click they're off uh, let's see uh, measurements so far I've only uh, let's do the max mint so those are here let's do peak to peak and they appear here you, you click there and here's your measurements max 94 min 1.2 peak peak 94 and so forth i think it also has statistics let's see you can do the mean max you can turn them individually I believe let me see yes okay let's see you turn them on and then the guess you turn them off and so forth so if you're interested in the max and here is your mean and so forth Let's see what else. Oh, deviation. That's a, an important one to have. Uh, counter. I guess you can have a frequency meter. And settings. I still have to look at the, see what those are. But uh, overall, I think this is fairly nice. So duty cycle 29% duty cycle so let's see what else uh, so this is I guess just a basic tour of the scope like I said it's uh, the build looks really good and as I learn more and more of its function I'll go ahead uh, update this video uh, now the the scope is also this is only a 8-bit scope uh, I think the normal suggested price is 3200 I bought it uh, at Salig electronics 
they had it at uh, 1600 I believe 50% off. And I don't need the 12 bit. There is a 12 bit version at 500 megahertz. It's also, I believe, 32 or 33, slightly higher. But I don't need the resolution. What I do need is the frequency. And uh, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger on that. So I'm very happy with my purchase. I think it's, uh, and then the other thing that I really like is that MIGSIG has a bunch of accessories as far as the test probes are concerned. Uh, they have the Opto isolator, which connects straight, I believe. Or actually, there's a little adapter that you can connect. Uh, they also have a current probe that connects straight in and the high voltage probe. So they make a bunch of other probes accessories that are very well built and they operate very well. Anyway, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and uh, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching.